Hey everyone, Phil with VideoSchoolOnline.com. Today I'm bringing you a great tutorial on how to edit green screen footage in Adobe Premiere Pro. So whether you're using Creative Cloud, CS6, CS5, or something earlier, it's a very similar process using the same effect. And so let's get straight into it. I'm going to show you how to get green screen footage to practice with, with Jean-Claude Van Damme. And then we're gonna go into what you actually need to do to remove that background of the green screen. This is also called chroma keying. So if you've heard that terminology, this is green screen and chroma keying all in one, it's the same thing. So anyways, let's get straight to it. So the first thing you need when editing green screen footage is green screen footage. So you can shoot it yourself or you can use something that you find online to practice with. Funnierdie.com gave out this awesome footage of Jean-Claude Van Damme. If you go to funnyordie.com forward slash jcvd, you can download their action pack. Just go to it and then click on jcvd's make my movie challenge and you can download the pack there. Once you download some of those clips, you can bring it into Adobe Premiere Pro. And so once you do that, just start a sequence like you normally would, dragging that footage into this new sequence button down here. Okay, so what do you want to do? You want to go into your effects tab type in, first type in key. And this will show you all the options you have for keying out a color. Keying means basically selecting a color and removing it. So you could use something like the color key to select this green color, but they have a better tool called ultra key. So go ahead and add that to your clip, dragging it and dropping it. And you will have these options now. So under your effects control tab, you see ultra key. The first thing you want to do, skip these first two things, the first thing you want to do is this color key, you want to select the color. The easiest way to do this is by selecting the eyedropper, clicking on that, then going over to your footage and selecting the green that you want to get rid of. Click somewhere near your subject, and there you see that this has already done an amazing job at getting rid of that green. The next thing you can do is go back up to the setting where it says default, you could change it to different options. Relaxed, aggressive, or custom is when you actually go into these tabs down here and customize how, how it is basically seeing the green and getting rid of it. Relax is going to be, well, more relaxed. It's not going to try to get rid as, of as much green. Aggressive really gets into the edges and cleans it up a bit. So I would I would do that. And if I scrub through this timeline, you can see the footage is pretty darn good. The edge is not, it's a little bit, I would say pixelated or it's just a little off. So what I would do is going down under these other options like matte cleanup, I can soften that edge a little bit more. So if I sh raise it to like something like 40, then it's a little bit softer, but you don't want it to be too soft, but it just depends on what your background is. So say, and then you can play with contrast. So that's going to even help a little bit more. So if you sharp, if you sh soften it up and then add some contrast, that will be good. And then choke, that will basically shrink or expand your mat a little bit. So it's typically at 10 and I think that's pretty good. I would even bring it out to just zero so it's not choking at all because since we softened and added this contrast, I think that looks good. Now when you have your own green screen footage, you can go under these different tabs and this matte generation playing with the highlight, shadow, tolerance, and pedestal sliders right here and changing those numbers will help get rid of all the green or whatever you want from there. And then the spill suppression, what this does is it affects the edge of your image. And sometimes if you have a green background, it kind of bounces off light onto your subject. So the subject will have a green outline basically, and this will help that. But as you can see with this video right here, it's really well shot and it was really easy. And to be honest, if you have a well lit subject, the ultra key is going to be amazing. So that's how you edit green screen footage in Adobe Premiere Pro using the ultra key effect. 
If you have any questions or this, if this is confusing and you want me to go deeper, let me know. And as always, I have full courses on a lot of these subjects. I actually have a full course on green screen editing, just green screen editing, so you can learn in Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Pro 10, and really dive into editing green screen and all of those different programs. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in another tutorial. Hey YouTube, you like that video? Well, please subscribe to the channel for more. Check out our website for articles, webinars, books, and more. And of course, check out our online course library, ranging on topics from video making, motion graphics, photography, starting a business, freelancing, to beer brewing, resume writing, adopting a cat, and much more.